I'm Harley Ringel. I live in Hearst, Texas, and I collect mini bikes. Uh, I recently just got, uh, I got rid of a 66 van, a Conaline that I had. It took up all my space, so I got sold that so I could make some proper shelves and display my mini bikes, make it easier for me to work on. This is my current collection of mini bikes. So this new setup gives me a table that I can work on, like I'm about to start working on this bike, and then also a different workspace over there for other, other things and it just makes my life a lot easier. I've got an engine bay that hopefully will turn into a more legit engine bay. So I've got some lined up there, but I measured incorrectly and uh, didn't leave myself enough space for some of the bigger, the bigger engines. This is a, Go, a Fuji Go Devil folding bike. They, you could fold that up and put it into a traveling bag. I don't have the bag. I think Oliver's got a bag. Karen Kraus, who's on the forums, made me the seat. She makes repop seats for a lot of the vintage bikes and uh, that seat's phenomenal. So the front wheel, when it's folded up, sits, sits like tucked into the side over here. But for my shelf, it just makes more sense to just put it next to it. But... Right now I've got 18 bikes. I think 17 here and one that's currently hanging out with Tim at GoPar Sports. And how many in your lifetime? Oh man, in my lifetime, I. I'm pretty positive it's about 120 something, but some of those bikes come and they immediately go to a Lodge brother. They go somebody, you know, I buy them like with somebody in mind. So I'll get them and then almost immediately just turn them over to somebody else. Yeah, and then when you ride it, all you gotta do is, I think you can grease them up enough to where you can just kind of go whoop, bam and, they, and it falls out. But, and then you're up a little higher. Uh, the obsession probably started about four years ago. I got my first mini bike five years ago. It was a doodle bug. So the doodle bug, I had joined, I think the tomb page and somebody down in like the Georgetown area, I think was building them at the time. He would just find doodle bugs, build them up and just, just to sell them. But I didn't realize that he was selling them for guys to race. So when I got it, it was like way souped up, way more than I care about, like about a week after having that. So I immediately sold the doodle bug and I think I've only bought vintage bikes since then other than the, the Rascal. My favorite one's always the one that I just finished building, typically, which would be this uh, Montgomery Ward's bike, but I think the long running favorite is the Scat Kitty for sure. I'd been looking for one for a while. This one came up in Indiana, right in the peak of COVID. So um, I had a bunch of vacation days was already getting cabin fever, so my nephew and I jumped in the truck and drove to Indiana. And when I bought it, it was just the bike and it needed some love. I color matched the red and filled in some of the paint where it needed it. Sidecar was a, the original option and that style of sidecar was his original. And Karen Krause, who made the Go Devil seat, made that seat. The exhaust pipe on this side, it's got a cool shape. So I'm in the Oddfellows Lodge. It's a 200 plus year fraternal order and super active in Texas, but uh, really, really super active in Waxahachie. And we were sitting around one night at dinner and said, man, we should really up our parade game and we should get mini bikes and ride those in the parades. At that moment, Oliver had some mini bikes for sure, but not in our, you know, not at our parades at that time. I think three of us went out and bought mini bikes like within a week or two, uh, right after that dinner. Um, I, the couple of guys that were having that conversation had them. I bought mine, and then when I met up and saw theirs were vintage and just like this cooler look, then I bought a couple, and then within like the end of that month, I had like three or four mini bikes. So that's what kind of built up me kind of out and about buying mini bikes. I think at some point, all the guys in the lodge that were actively looking or actively wanted a mini bike had mini bikes, but I didn't stop looking I didn't stop going out there and like picking them up and buying them and I do have a problem with like collecting stuff like I get into something I like go all in and then I move on uh, my parents like went through a stint of beanie babies I helped them at the time like I helped them like if I was out somewhere I would run into the hallmark or wherever to see if they had the beanie baby my mom needed 
Uh, and I think dad probably got me into, like my parents right today will like give me crap about how many mini bikes I've got. Like, man, you trained me on this. This guy is a Mickey Thompson bike. I actually just recently bought this from a guy in Haltom City. It's a super cool bike, but the forks, they welded some round uh, pieces to the forks, I think to brace them. And it wasn't like, if I get a bike with bent forks, I can, I can fix those. Or, uh, but these, had, these need to be cut, re-welded. The, it's got ape hanger bars and they're 18 inch apes. So they're really tall ape hangers and UPS is delivering me a set of those today. So I am pretty excited to see those. There's not really one that I'm eyeing. Like I didn't realize I wanted a Mickey Thompson bike until that one popped up. And I was like, oh man, yeah, I want a Mickey Thompson bike. I, every, I joke with my wife about making a list. Like if one of these 10 bikes comes up, no questions asked, I'm jumping in the truck and getting it. But I don't know if that list really exists anymore. Scat Kitty was top of that list. The stuff that I get into about mini bikes comes and goes like, um, I'll, I'll go through little spurts of like, oh, I would never put a Predator on that, on that Ward's bike. And then like, pff, I'm gonna put a Predator on that Ward's bike because it's gonna be super easy. And that big block Tecumseh that's all rusted over there, I'll get to that at some point. And in the meantime, I can ride this bike with this Predator on it. Like before, I'd, I'd go through phases like, no, like that bike will just sit there with no motor before I put a Predator on it. <laughs> Uh, this bike is a Ward, is a Montgomery Ward's bike. I, the decal was trash, so I took that off when I was cleaning it up. General Appliance made this bike, the Trail Horse, and the Trail Blazer, and it's all the same frame, same handlebars, except the Trail Horse are kind of up and down, straight up and down, where the where these bikes are more like spread out. This is the same bike. This is the same bike I bought from Oliver in Waxahachie, but somebody had sprayed bed liner over the whole thing, so I've been working to get all that taken off. And I've got, I've got that complete bike, it's all in that box, but so I just finished this one just in time for Fandango this weekend, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna build that one next. That is a Go Power Sports Rascal next to it. That's the only one we care about. <laughs> A buddy of mine at Waxahachie powder coated it for me. And I went through a couple of different suspensions. I've got the, is it the leading link? Is that what you guys call it? I got that over there. I, I kind of prefer this setup. Uh, I built this bike, put it all together after it got powder coated and a kid down the street came by and wanted to ride it. And he wrecked it. <laughs> he wrecked it. That, it was the day I got it complete. He wrecked it. it. It was probably my fault. The risers weren't like super tight and he hit a bump going pretty fast. And when he hit that bump, the bars gave a little bit and freaked him out. And he ended up flipping the bike. He was cut up pretty bad, like lost a fingernail. So I was not worried about the paint at all. It's like, just glad that kid was okay. <clears throat> so go Power Sports. I think when I've got my second bike, I was looking for something and I I think I was Googling like mini bike parts and there was this Go Power Sports and it was in Keller, Texas. Like, man, that's like 10 minutes down the road. So I went down there and I think I may have gone on a Saturday and it happened to be like a mini bike Saturday day. So I met, I met you guys and then I just kept coming back. I bought a couple of mini bikes that need parts or I need like to run something by you guys or Evan or whoever was there hanging out on Saturdays. And um, it being 10 minutes from me, it was just like, now I got another awesome thing to do on Saturdays. In the mini bike world, like three of the main people that have influenced me or that helped me with the stuff that, I, that I'm interested in are definitely locally a guy named Dave Urich. He's a lot like Tim. He grew up with mini bikes. He can tell me everything about mini bikes and uh, he can fix just about anything. He's helped me quite a bit. Any problems that I have, we can usually figure it out with just a day at the car club. Tom Drizwicki, who's on the forums a lot, he's Simple Tom, he, oh, he does the mini bike maniac stuff, what the, he'll do, he'll do like a rat fink type character on a hornet or a cat. I'll get a bike, like, man, what's this bike, or what am I missing from this bike, and like, somebody asks me that, they'll hear from me in an hour, because it's gonna take me an hour to like, figure that out, or like, remember, and he just like, can tell me pretty quick. And then Karen Krause has like, hooked me up on all these awesome seats, like that Go Devil seat, the George Barris seat, the Scat Kitty seat, like, 
They're all, she's also super knowledgeable. She raced bikes when she was young, and so she's got just a huge history of bikes. My favorite mini bike memory was the trip that I took with Oliver and some friends up to Ohio to buy all those mini bikes that are at the store in Waxahachie now. I think there were about 90 something bikes and a hundred and like, we counted them, it was like 120 or 130 Tecumseh engines. Like there were a couple of Briggs, but most of them were Tecumseh, which is crazy. And like the picture that Taylor posted in that vault room in that old, what used to be a bank, like all those, those Tecumsehs are like, maybe half of what was in that hall. I've got pictures of, Oliver's got this huge RV, like a bands would take with like the, with the running board storage. I got a picture of Oliver shoving Tecumsehs down in that running board like storage area, so cool. And um, we pulled a little trailer off that RV and that trailer is just jam packed of frames. And there are definitely some bikes that I've like made money on for sure. But if it's for somebody that I know or somebody like, I don't, it's not a job for me. It's a, uh, was it? Never for money, always for love, I think. Yeah.